Hey braid bosses, it is Jen and I want to come in and talk to you guys about should you guys get an LLC as a braider. First thing you need to do is one, subscribe to the channel, two, go ahead and like this video, and three, make sure you're checking out to how to braid hair for cash, braid hair for cash course, or you could just see my replay on how I tell you guys how I started my braiding business with $10 for less than $10, okay? So go ahead and check that out. The first thing I want to talk to you guys about is... Number one, when you get an LLC, there is a processing fee, honey. Don't let nobody tell you that an LLC is free. It's not. Okay, there is only one state. I repeat, only one state that has an LLC for zero dollars. And I guarantee you, none of the people that's watching this video lives in that state. You know what state that is? Girl, that's Alaska. Alaska is the only state that you can get your LLC for free, $99. Other than that, you're going to have to pay a LLC processing fee, right? It's, it's one time you pay the processing fee. So if you're going to start an LLC, keep in mind you have to pay a processing fee to establish your LLC in your state. Now, there are a couple of states that watch me frequently. So I went ahead and grabbed the LLC, the state filing fee for you guys. Okay, California, your fee to start an LLC is $70. Georgia, it's $100. Kentucky, it's $40. Texas is $301. They not playing in Texas. Okay, y'all better be careful in Texas. Texas not playing. They want their money. Okay? Louisiana, it costs $100. The lowest fee is Alaska, $0. Highest fee is Massachusetts, coming in at $500. $100. So if you're trying to start an LLC in Massachusetts, girl, may the Lord be with you, okay? It's a lot of money, okay? $500, I don't know about all that. But there is a state fee, so I want to be honest with you guys. If you're going to start an LLC as a braider, keep in mind there's a filing fee that you're going to be required to pay in order to start this business, okay? The second thing is there is a mandatory state tax a year, depending on your state. Again, I'm going to tell you about the, the states that actually watch me often. And for those who are a part of my braid hair for cash um, in the description below, or if you have the braid hair for cash, I'm going to be putting every state's filing fee and every state's mandatory tax. But for right now, for the sake of this video, I'm going to tell you the, the states that watch me the most, right? The one you guys that watch me the most, I'm going to tell you more or less your fee. Some of these are actual fees. Some of these are just percentages. But I want you to, to be clear. You are going to owe a possible tax, depending on your state, when you start your LLC in your state. So, for example, California has a franchise tax of $800. So, if you are in the state of California, you have to pay the taxes on your business as well as your franchise tax of a mandatory $800. Yes, ma'am, $800. Okay? If you are in Georgia, Georgia goes off of a 5.3, or not 3, 5.75% of your taxable income from your business okay so california has a amount of a base amount while georgia has a percent 5.7 okay when we start to talk about kentucky kentucky does 0 0.9 0 0.095 per hundred dollars in kentucky so that's off of your gross receipts then they turn around and take a 70 a 75 cent per dollar of your gross profits and if you make lesser of the two, they're just going to charge you a flat fee of $175, okay? Then there's a franchise tax in Texas. It is 0 0.375. It's a taxable on either wholesalers or, re or resellers, 0 0.75 on margins of all companies, or 3.331% of total revenue of the company. OK, so we're starting to talk about actual monies amounts and we're starting talking about actual percentages. But the overall theme of this is you're going to pay a yearly tax and or a franchise tax fee. OK, the last Louisiana, you're going to pay one one dollar and fifty cents per every one thousand dollars you make or. And you're going to pay an initial $110 franchise tax fee, okay? So there's initial fee for your LLC of $110, and they're going to charge you $1.50 for each $1,000 or just the 
marginal fraction of your whole entire company, okay? So my advice to you for LLCs as a grader is one, do your research on your state, okay? Two, make your fees before you even start this business, okay? I'm gonna recommend if you're gonna start an LLC, LLC need paperwork. And if you don't know how to do paperwork, I just suggest you go to LegalZoom. Don't even get yourself involved in it. Don't touch it. Don't try to do it on your own because there's things that you need. Articles of incorporation. You need an operations agreement. You need all of that. If you're a part of my braid hair for business, I said braid hair, braid hair for cash, you guys gonna be talking about all of that. I'm, I'm going to give you the boom, boom, boom. I'm going to give you the steps. I'm going to give you what you need for your business, your uh, bank account. I'm going to give you what you need for your LLCs. But I just say make your fees back. So say, for example, if you're in California, you're going to want to make at least $870 before you even start to establish your LLC because you need your $800 for your franchise fee and you need your $70 for your filing fee, okay? Not to mention the most basic um the most basic package for legal zoom is $79. So, I suggest you just make all your fees before you start an LLC because at the end of the day, you want to prove to yourself that you can make money as a braider and not only make money as a braider, but make money as a braider with a legit braiding business. Like I told you guys before, stop doing business sloppy. Stop not knowing, you know, how much you made. What did you buy? All this stuff. Again, if you're a part of my braid, my braid hair for cash class, you guys about to get the lecture because we have to talk about, I know braiding is, is, is more or less a home business, but you still got to treat it like a business, especially if you're going to think about starting your LLC because you have to make sure that your stuff is in line so that when it's time for you to do your taxes, you either owe exactly just fees or you owe nothing because you have been tracking and diary logging your business. So you guys, I hope that this was helpful. Again, one, subscribe to the channel. Two, like this video. And three, check out my Braid Hair for Cast course in the description below. And I'll be talking to you guys later. Bye, y'all.